DLI. So break it down for us. What is DLI and what's the target for those growing medicinal varieties? Yeah, so DLI is simply a, the sum of light the plant will receive over a, a light cycle. Um, and when we're talking in parts, micromoles, um, you know, the, the units can get a little bit confusing. But if you go back to what I was speaking about earlier about this sort of eight or 900 micromole average that most growers are growing at today. That equates to, um, if you multiply that 800 by uh, the time in the day, literally the amount of seconds in that day, um, you'll get the micromole number. So you multiply the 800 by 60 seconds, by 60 minutes, by 12 hours, and you get around 35 moles. Um, and that's a, another way of looking at your, your light intensity, is how much it, the plant's receiving over that, that life period. And as I was saying earlier, new studies are showing that you can probably push that up to about 60 moles per day. So uh, almost double what we're doing at the moment um, without needing to have any sort of sophisticated environment controls, such as uh, elevated CO2 or anything like that. Um, and that's that's a very high power intensity, uh, a very high um, amount of light. Uh, that plants can absorb and, and medicinal herbs are um, uh, an exception in in that regard. Uh, for example, tomatoes, which are known as and chilies and those sort of plants that are known as very high light demanding plants, um, you know, commercial growers wouldn't push them beyond about 40 moles per day. So it shows that medicinal herbs really have a, a unique um, uh, capability of absorbing a lot of light and converting it efficiently. Um, which is, as I said, can be could be a real benefit for growers, particularly in a smaller area where they want to push um, production higher production out of a small space. Got it. And DLI, you mentioned the calculation, and just for reference, folks can Google DLI calculator, and you'll be able to easily find several websites that actually have a calculator on there. We can put in the inputs, and then it will spit out what the result is. I'm on one of them right now, and I just wanted to talk about this. So a PPFD 900 time I put for 12-hour light cycle, if you calculate that, that's a 38.88 DLI. Now, if you are going to 18 hours per day, right, still 900 PPFD, you're up to a 58. So you're close to that 60 that you mentioned for DLI. What really throws people off, I think, is autoflowers, right, is because they're on the same light cycle the entire time. Yet we hear about you needing to increase light from the vegetation stage to the flower stage. So for example, right, let's say that you are on an 18 hour light cycle and that you are, uh, you keep it on 18 hours and you bump it up to 1200 PPFD, right? Cause you're running CO2 or whatever. Then you're at a 77 DLI. So beyond the 60 that people are, are, are kind of getting away with. I've heard some people go up to 65, but for the most part, a lot of people are falling into the trap of light stress. You know, they, they're, yeah. they're just going by PPFD, not taking DLI into consideration, and then their plants are suffering because of it. So highly recommend folks play around with that calculator, kind of see what PPFD you're giving the plants and how many hours and calculating it and kind of seeing where you're falling in there because uh, it can certainly be su- kind of surprising once you once you get the calculator involved. Yeah, and just to say with autoflowers, so typically growers would, would probably run for about 20 hours per day light cycle leaving a three or four hours for uh, for a night period for the plants to rest and, and recuperate between um, between light cycles. I would generally recommend about 550 micromoles in that case, um, which is pushing up to about that 40 DLI. But also with with the discussion about vegetative and flowering and um, moles uh, per day, I would say that uh, push the plants as hard as you can. So, you know, if you have a light that's capable of delivering, you know, 1,000, 1,200, whatever it is, um, get it up as high as you can, as early as you can, even through the veg stage. Um, and just look for, for, for signs of light stress, being ma- making sure at the same time that you're keeping up with the demands of the plant. You know, it's going to respire more. It's going to basically need more water. Uh, it's going to need more nutrients because it's growing faster. And just to be careful not to um, misdiagnose light stress 
with possibly some other factors. Um, you know, back to the sort of reference points, um, you know, we're talking about running at 900 um, uh, micromoles average power. The sun is 2000 at midday. Uh, so plants are well able to take very high power intensity without um, being damaged. Um, however, if you are running them, as I said, at a, at a very high performance level, other factors may come into it and you may be restricting them in other ways. Lots of fresh air or elevated CO2 um, and being very careful with uh, that you give them enough water um, that you keep the humidity down um, because it's going to be respiring a lot and uh, keep the nutrients up. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products.